And we're going to talk to people who aren't vegan but love dogs. The circle of life. The circle of life? So you're actually using The Lion King as a scientific source here. I care about why you two people, who are good people, yeah. still pay for animals to be stabbed and killed when you're against it. You care for animals, right? But then there's insects and rabbits and stuff that gets killed. Do you think I don't know about that? How you going, my friend? I'm uh, Joey. Jerry. Jerry. Nice Jerry, to meet you, Jerry. Yes. You've read the sign? Yes. Animal lovers who aren't vegan are hypocrites? Yes, I read that. Yeah. Do you disagree or agree with the sign? Mm, I'll disagree slightly, yeah. Okay. yeah. Can I just give you my full argument? Okay, yeah, yeah. No so I'm saying that for the same reasons people love dogs like, you know, muffins over here, yeah. um, they feel pain, they're sentient, they want to live, they, you know, they, they get happy and have different personalities and if anyone hurts a dog, it's uh, string them up, kill them. If anyone hurt a dog in this society, boom, yeah, 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 no. you know. Mm -hmm. But on their plate yeah. are a bunch of different species of animals or animal products that come from animals that were enslaved, tortured and murdered. Yes. Uh, that inherently are the same in all the ways that matter. They're sentient, they feel pain, they want to live, they don't want to suffer. Now, I'm saying that those people who claim to be dog lovers, yeah. and if anyone touches a dog, they want to kill them, yeah. I'm saying that they are moral hypocrites. Do you agree or disagree with my position? Um, I'm kind of a bit on the disagree side, but I get okay. what you're saying. Okay. It's logical, you mean? Yeah, it is logical, yeah, okay. but I guess it's not fully logic in the sense that, I mean, you are raising a carnival, the dog's going to eat me either way. And in order to get that meat, it needs to be farming and all those also process. And I guess, you know, see so your argument meat? is from the dog's dietary position, not yours. Uh, You're saying mine as well, because I mean, well, what's your what's your justification for? You're you're you're, you're vegan, right? Am I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, so I'm not a hypocrite. Yeah, no, you don't want to. You want to pretty much stop the farming industry, correct? I want to stop the animal exploitation and violence industry 100%. Not the farming where we cultivate oh, no, no, plants. No, like yeah, animal industry, right? Animal, of course, yeah, it's okay. slavery and it's a holocaust. How are we going to feed our pets then once that happens? Okay, we can talk about that and I'm very willing yeah. to talk all about pets with you. Yes. Can we start with you and then go to pets? Because I want to talk about the most important topic first, which is how do you justify yes. causing this holocaust of animals when you have vegan alternatives. I, I wouldn't really call it a holocaust. I mean, I, I'm from a, you know, not, not a first world country. I mean, I've seen how the animal treated over there compared to here, and I feel like it's much better over here than over... Can I show yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. If this is graphic, are you okay with seeing? Yeah, some? I'm fine. Okay, I'm so fine. this is all a, a standard Australian footage. Um, Australian? Eh? This what is, year is this? From? This is uh, from about 2017 onwards. Oof. So this is, um, they're taking the calves away from the mother cow here. This is standard because the, the calves will eat the dairy or consume the dairy oh, from yeah. the mother. We need that dairy because we want to abuse, uh, uh, we want to kill these uh, male calves because they don't produce milk. Wait, so wait, wait. the male calves are taken from the mother. They don't produce milk, so they're killed really young. And that the female calves will grow on to be milk slaves. Are, are they wheels? Like, wouldn't they become wheels? Uh, they can do, or if they kill them really, really young, they just treat them as garbage. I don't know, dog food or whatever. I don't know. Oh, dog food, there you go. <laughs> well, that's okay yeah. then. Do you think that's okay? What if we were killing dogs and feeding them to dogs? That wouldn't be okay. Mm. So here's an animal here trying to, you know, avoid the bolt gun. Um, this is semen collection because they're milking a, a boar. They're jacking off a boar to inseminate females. <laughs> oh, so they're raping these animals. Yeah, jacking. well. <laughs> I'm immature, but yeah. No, nah, you're <laughs> laughing because it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And you said, yeah. you know. <laughs> so you're, you're, yeah, do you no. eat pork? Uh, a little bit, not as much as before. Well, you're but, a little yeah. bit paying for pigs to be raped. So, mm. you know, so this is happening because of you. Um, that's why I'm showing you because you pay for this. You're responsible for this. This yeah. is the piglets. This is blunt force trauma. They grab the pigs by the hind legs and smash them on the ground if they don't grow fast enough. This is stock standard. You can look up the industry practice. Uh, yeah. This is the way they uh, get rid of piglets, basically. This is a wiener pen. They're growing them. And then after six months, yeah. they chuck them in a gas chamber. Gas chamber? Yeah. Ooh, this was cool. RSPCA approved till they activists went in there and got the footage really? and told them how the hell do you approve something so horrific because they're struggling they're trying to escape yeah. they're screaming for their lives that's not good this is australia yeah. this is why this is a holocaust yeah. it's a gas chamber well the thing is when i buy me and eat me i'm not really you know you support, don't see them I, I don't i don't support the practice of this kind of practice but i support the farmer that needs a job that needs a you know so you, you support the oppressor not the, the victim i support the victim you support the oppressor i mean do we have enough money to give them to them find a different job? I mean, they can... They can find another job. These animals can't find another life. They've been enslaved and murdered. Who do you care more about? Who, who, who's suffering matters more here? Well, the problem is also, look at the farmer, right? I mean... Look at this guy. They're using do you money like to... this guy? <laughs> no, not really. Why not? He needs a job. I mean, 
His job is to rape and kill animals. I mean, it's not rape, but then the killing is justified based on the fact that, I mean, I mean, you're feeding the animal, you're giving them life. I mean, look at the vaccine we've we developed for the pigs, you know, without them in the wild, they would have died through. You know, We're breeding them and chucking them in sheds. They need vaccines because they'll get diseases in there. And in the wild, any... there is disease and stuff, you know, mad cow disease, stuff like that. You know, if human didn't end the vaccines, all cows would have gone extinct pretty much. These animals only exist because we mass breed them and selectively breed them. These are animals, specifically food slaves, these ones here. They don't, they don't exist in the wild. Pig, well, pet, bog stuff. Wild boar yeah. do, but not these type of pigs that you're eating. I'm saying that uh, this is a human um, manufactured freak show. I can agree with that, yeah. 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 You pay for it, that's what I'm saying. And how are you not a hypocrite if you claim to be against this, but you're eating it, you're paying for it? I mean... How are you not a hypocrite? Like, you know, if you are a dog lover, these pigs, more yeah. intelligent than dogs. Yeah. Intelligence of oh. a three-year-old child. Yeah. Scientifically, well, go against science if you want, but the science is there, you can look it up. But then also, when I buy it, right, I'm not, like, ordering the slaughter. The thing is already done, you know? <laughs> what else is going to happen to it? I mean, okay, it's do you know how supply and demand works? Do you ever study yeah, economics? a little bit, yeah. Okay. So, man. so but, uh, you buy a heroin off of me, yeah. right? You're supporting the heroin industry. I go and buy more heroin. Yeah. It comes from somewhere. Supply it down the supply chain, okay? You but, buy... I mean, you buy this Mac, we use it pretty much supporting the child slavery industry. You know, well, labor industry. is there child slavery in this Mac? I mean, do you know who makes the apps? Apple? Yeah, do you know... With factory in China? Use? Yeah, do you know who works there? Do you know the wages that get paid? I mean, the low wages are different to enslaving and chopping someone's body up and selling their body. I mean, what would you rather? It's not someone, it's animals, right? If we've got to okay. distinguish animals are different from humans in the sense well, that, I mean... Someone yeah, is someone is who difference. suffers inside of there. Yeah, do you agree animals shouldn't be abused and tortured? Of course. Uh, this, okay. yeah, but it, it if they're not someone, agreed. who gives a shit? I mean, no, that's why this organisation exists, right? It's to protect animals uh, from if, abuse and stuff. But, yeah, then, but If they're not someone, who cares? There's someone inside of uh, Muffin who has a personality, would you uh, agree? What do you mean? What do you mean by someone? I don't really understand that part. An individual. Like, an animal, yes. There's an indi they're sentient. Do you agree animals are sentient? Sorry, I'm... I'm do you know what sentient, like they're conscious? I'm ESL, so I okay. just so animals are conscious? Yes, they like are Like you conscious. are, you know how you experience reality? Yes. Animals do that too. Yes. So there's a subject inside who goes, yes. I want food, yes. I want water, I want to not be murdered. Yeah? Get yes. that knife away from my throat. I'm yes. scared. Yes. Who's doing that if they're not someone? I mean, other animals also look at animal, uh, other animals and go, okay, you know what, that looks edible, I'm going to hunt it and kill it, you know? So there's, you agree there's someone inside there? Uh, not someone, but like, you know, brains and feelings, I guess, you say. Well, what if Is I said it? there's not someone inside you? Well, I'm a human and someone refers to human, I guess. So you don't think animals have a personality or they're I'll not individual? Personality. They are individual. Okay, so but how, how, is that, how is that? I'm just distinguishing that humans are different from animals, I guess. Okay, I know we're different, yeah. but there's still someone inside of an animal. Oh, someone, shit, my bad. There's still <laughs> someone inside said, of yeah, an animal. I you were some person, my bad. There's not a person yeah, inside yeah, of there. Someone, yes. Not yes. a human inside of yes, there. I'm a, saying a, there's a subject. Yes, indeed. Yes, there is yeah. a subject. Otherwise, yes. they couldn't be conscious and sentient and be maneuvering around and going, hey, I want that ball. Yes. So you're that saying animals aren't someone? No, they are somewhat, but not okay. some person. So, so they I, matter. I heard, yes. Animals matter. Of course they do. That's yeah. why this yeah. organization is. Yeah. You know, animals do matter. But, but. Uh, what I'm saying is, how are you not a, a hypocrite if you're paying for someone to be raped and killed? And you're saying you're against it. How are you not a hypocrite? And we talked about supply and demand. Yeah. And I said, you're paying for someone to be directly enslaved and chopped up into pieces. And then you pointed out this, this equipment here. And you said, somewhere down the line, mm -hmm. there's some piece of mineral somewhere yeah. that could quite have possibly been a low-paid worker, or maybe even a slave somewhere. Yeah. Who the fucking knows? You're pointing out. I can point to your stake and go, "That's a slave chopped up." That's. Slave chopped. It is a slave chopped up. I mean, the, most cows, you know, have you seen the farming industry in Japan? The cows are pretty much chilling, enjoying the. The life wagyu, control. you mean? Yeah. Wagyu. They're yeah. chilling in the slaughterhouse when they get shot in the skull and have their head cut off. That's is like, that chilling? That's like five minutes, and then they don't feel anything. Well, what if it's five minutes for you? You don't feel anything. Is that cool? I mean. When I die, you know, it's five minutes, you know, before death. Natural is. death is different. If I cut your head off right here, where would I go? Okay, wait, if animal dies from natural causes, do you support eating it or not? I think it's very weird and disgusting, but I don't disgusting. see it. If you've seen a, a, a pigeon that was... Uh, a pigeon, that like, you know, cows and stuff. Do yeah, you eat chicken. animals that died of natural causes? Well, it depends what kind of causes, you know. If it was like a sudden brute force, let's say... Uh, let's say... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a sea fisher, right? A sea fish? Let's say I was sea fishing and the boat, I don't know, hit, hit a fish and they somehow die. Uh, Why are you it out happens, there with a spear murdering yeah. fish and expecting a boat to hit a fish? 
Oh, it that happens. just doesn't make any sense. It you're happens. out there. We were out there consciously trying to murder animals. I'm saying steer away from the conscious. Um, steer away from the mentality that animals are here for your food. Yeah. Okay, because they're not here for you. Yeah. They they exist for their own. They actually exist because farmers are breeding them to be slaves. But when they're sentient, they don't think that they're here for anyone else. They're just trying to live and survive, and they don't want to be harmed. Yeah, but then, okay, right now, right, right now, um, let's say the farming industry is pretty bad, right? I can agree with that. What should we do with these animals right now? Well, right now, there's no way out for them. Yeah, so what do you think we should do? I, I think, I can tell you what I, you I should really do. Know. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, I can tell you what you should do. No, what we should do, not me, because I'm just an individual, you know? Exactly. Just You're an individual who abuses motor. animals. I don't really abuse them. I mean, I just eat them. They're already dead. But you know, pay I, for them to be killed. I don't know if they're you know, being killed that way or they die of natural causes and they just, you know. Oh, 100% <laughs> guarantee you ain't eaten no animal that died of natural causes. Well, that doesn't exist. When you go in a supermarket, animals aren't dying of natural causes. That's absolute, uh, that's a ridiculous thought. But don't they die in the farm naturally? They die by a knife across their throat. Sometimes, don't they, is it, wait, isn't the that family? They die on like, the farm. They get thrown in the dead bin. I've yeah, been they, in dead bins and farms. It's the animals that are dead. That's a waste of that, meat. That's a waste of meat. Yeah. That's a waste of life. This is a waste of an animal's life. Slashing their throats open. And then it's also allowing so I'm saying that you're paying for this. Do you disagree that you pay for this? I do pay for that, yes. Yeah, so you're an animal abuser. You have to be, because you do you agree that this is animal abuse? This is, I mean... Is this, is this animal abuse? It's a very, I'm not even trying to, it's not a trick question. That, that is pretty bad, I mean... <laughs> Look, put yourself in that position. I'll hang you up by your legs and slash your throat open. Is that human abuse? That is murder. It's not abuse. That, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I mean it, okay, is, it, is, it is abuse. I'm abusing abuse. your body when I chop it up and sell it to someone. It is abuse, I guess, but, okay. you know. Well, people think slapping their, their husband or their wife is domestic abuse. Oh, it is, Well, yes. you're doing this to someone. What's it, this? It is abuse, It's the most extreme abuse you pay for. Yeah, it is abuse, I guess. Uh, this is the most abusive and cruel thing you ever do and have ever done. Mm. That is pretty, you know, yeah. abusive. Yeah, this, yes. Why do you think I'm a vegan? I don't know. <laughs> because I don't want to be an animal abusing hypocrite, that's why. Okay, that, okay, let's yeah. get back on topic a bit. This is on topic. This is on yes. topic. What about the dog? The dog thing. thing. Okay, yes. now, okay. I'm saying that people who love dogs, yes. right, and seen this happen to a dog, yes. they'd be like, stop, please. No, then, no, they go and, then they go and eat the cow. I'm saying that they're hypocrites. Do you still dis disagree with the sign? Okay, so uh, could you just repeat that again? So Black people who love dogs, yes, and they, if they saw a dog here where this cow is just about to face right now, yes. they'd be like, stop, don't kill them, you yes. animal abuser. That right, is they love bad. dogs. Yes. Now, then they go and eat this cow. Yes. Are they a hypocrite? They go and eat the are cow. They, are they go and eat this cow that just got murdered? Right, who's just like the dog well, in, yeah, in most I ways? I mean, yeah, are they a hypocrite? They kind of are, yeah. Do you yeah. know what hypocrite means? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of are, I guess. But then they're again, blatantly if you, if you don't do that, how are you supposed to feed your dog? That's the thing. If you don't uh, mass breed cows and yeah, shoot well, them in the skull. What would the dog eat then? Because there's no vegan supplement for dogs. That's okay. the so, first of all, we talk about dogs, but you agree that this is hypocritical. So you agree with the premise of the sign anyway, yeah? You agree uh, with the sign now. You've agreed that this is hypocritical if you care about dogs but pay for animals to be killed who are just like dogs. No, but then how, how are you supposed to care for the dog without this happening? That's the thing. Because you, you're not feeding yeah. and that's pretty much, you know, that's Yeah, I get it. So let's just say you're a vegan yes, now. I'm a vegan. Oh, wow, you realise I'm an animal abuser. Uh, I'm a vegan, look at my... <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> don't worry about that. No, There's yeah, vegan no. junk food. You can stay that big <laughs> if you want, but... No, I don't want to. But, yeah. but listen, bro, like, let's just say you're a vegan now. Yes. Okay, now I've got my dog. Oh, shit, I don't want to be an animal abusing hypocrite. Yes. Well, then we can formulate dog food with yes. technology that mimics the same uh, macronutrient ratio as meat does. Yes. Okay, and it actually has the same nutrients supplemented into them that they need without holocausting a bunch of cows. But because, let me just put this yeah, point yeah. to you before you finish. How about we get a bunch of dogs, yes. shoot them in the skull, to feed to another bunch of dogs? No one would agree with that. So why do we do it to cows? Why do we do it to pigs? Do you think muffin's gonna take down a pig? Why do we feed muffin? <laughs> yeah, do you think muffin's not. gonna go fishing for a tuna? Yeah, probably not. So why don't we just formulate, there's vegan pet food by the way, you might not have heard, no, of, it. I've not heard of it. And dogs are omnivores, they do very well on a vegan diet. It's completely fine for them. It's even more hypocritical to yeah. shoot a cow in the head to feed to a little dog when that cow matters just as much as that dog. I'm saying it's still hypocritical. Yeah. Do you do you agree that I've answered your argument very well? Uh, do you, are you satisfied with that response? I still got one more question okay. and then I might okay. be satisfied. Okay. okay. So you know how the hypocrite by, by eating meat, right? Because, you know, if you eat meat, you know, that's pretty much contributing to the... You Direct. Know, Slavery and cutting yes. up a piece of animal. Okay, yeah. what would you suppose we eat then without... 100% plant-based diet. 
Do you know how much insect and animal have to get killed to make way for the plant to grow and stuff? Yeah, I do. How, how do you agree to that? Because how, what how else are you supposed to justify that? You know, just because an animal is large has more feelings than others, that's okay, okay to kill. You know, the little ones, the insect. You know, I understand your argument. I've heard this. Yeah, I've heard this argument yes. before. Yeah. What do the animals that you eat eat? What do the animal I eat? What eat? is their diet? What is the cow and the pig and the chicken? Vegetables. Okay. Vegetables. Okay. Now wheat. there's. Wheat. Okay. Most so wheat. how many more wheat, yeah. plants do you eat when you eat a steak yeah. than when you just eat the plants directly? How many more? How many magnitudes more plants are you eating when you just eat a steak? How many plants went into that cow for their resources and their water when you eat a steak? I'm not too sure, I guess it's, you know... Many, many more. Don't. So what I'm saying is that you're magnifying your crop deaths by eating a steak than you would if you just ate the crops directly. No, so but the most ethical thing to do would just be to eat the plants. Otherwise, shoot yourself in the head, and I don't advocate for that. No, but the problem is that the, the, the plants and stuff that animal eat, we don't eat it. Look at wheat and look at barley, you know. We, we could. Know, we, you, know, you can't. How, the, the, how, you can't live on... Not wheat, but like the dry thing. I don't know what I'm they're saying, called. I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. That I think you eat hay. The most ethical thing you can do, yes, because you're still causing all these crop deaths that you care about, insects and all that. You care about them? I don't really care about anything, to be honest, right now. Okay, but, I, well, no, I, I do. Is, you care for animals, right? But then there's insects and rabbits and stuff that gets killed I because I know about that. Do you think I don't area. have? Do you think I don't know about that? Not too sure. I, I'd know very well about right that. Now, I feel like you're sitting there saying. Eating these animals are bad, but then I eat my vegetable, even though the animal gets killed in order to well, make those vegetables. I can tell you right now, That's my, my life causes harm. Your life causes harm. My life causes some amount of harm. I agree with that. Yes. Yeah, so I, I concede that. I concede yes. that. Uh, yes. Okay, does that mean yeah. that I should then cause the maximum amount of slavery and suffering and murder to whoever I want because I cause some amount of harm? Or should I just cause this, the least amount of exploitation and harm as I practically can? by not eating these animals who are fed a bunch of crops who also incur crop deaths, okay, and stop enslaving and killing animals through my lifestyle and try to at least minimize what I can without being a fucking total, complete hypocrite. I'm sorry, I kind of lost your help. So you're pretty much saying that... That, you, that these animals yes. are being fed magnitudes more crops, Magnitude. many, many more yes. crops than you would otherwise eat by themselves, okay? So when you eat a steak, you're eating way more crops than I am. Well, I'm eating a steak, you're eating more crops than you are. Which incur what? Crop deaths and insect deaths? No, because the crops are grown differently. The wheat, the cows eat, the most, most grass. They don't, they don't use pesticide on those crops? I don't think so. They have to, I, I to protect the, I 100% guarantee you they use, the most pesticide is actually used on the crops that are fed to animals. No, because they use some human. Because if you look at an ugly, you know, cabbage with holes and worms juice, you're not going to eat that. That's why there's more, much more pesticide in there. When you feed cows, you mostly feed them with the uh, dry Wheat stuff. Wheat and soy. Ninety percent of the soy is fed to animals. Yeah. Ninety percent soy. The magnitude. Like raw soy or scrap uh, soy. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Most of the crops. I mean, you can look into this. I don't yeah, want to yeah, debate I'll, you I'll, on what, I'll, what I'll is true because you I'll haven't look. researched this. I have. Yeah, I will. I'll, okay. I'll, so wait, you're wait, debating wait. me on on facts, and I don't want you to. You know, get lost in the woodwork here. Yeah, no, I'm just so uh, yeah. just just maybe be curious. Yes, I will be curious. Uh, these animals, there's 70 billion of them. What are they fucking eating? They're eating dry hay. Not just hay. They eat okay. grain. They eat. They do eat okay, yeah, grasses, yes. which they grow this grass and they harvest it, which kills what? Insects. Yes. Which kills rodents. Yes. So you're feeding all of these crops to an animal to have a steak when you could just be eating a small amount of crops yeah. to sustain yourself. And those would be ju that would be justified because what are you what are you supposed to do? You're not actually eating a, a little bit on crop because I'm pretty sure that when you look at the calorie of a steak versus you know a head of cabbage, one small piece uh, of steak is you, know, you went steak to cabbage. Let's go steak to rice. To rice. Steak to wheat. Do we even grow rice in Australia? Or? You know you can have a handful of wheat, which would be the same amount of calories as a small steak. But when you th think about how much how many crops that animal took to feed them. Yeah. Magnitudes more. This is what I'm saying. Uh, do we grow most of the wheat in Sydney, Australia, or do we import them? Most of the, the cropland on Earth yeah. is fed to the animals we eat. I'm saying uh, the best thing you can do, yes. if you give a fuck about ethics, which I'm not sure that you do because you haven't said that you do, do but... Uh, I said I agree with most of the... Uh, you know, the arguments, but you don't want to change or... Oh, no, I'm willing to. I'm just listening to you. Okay, yeah. know, what I'm saying fun. is the best, the best thing you can do is yes. eat plant-based because that causes the minimal amount of crop death or indirect harm uh, po animals. as possible to, to animals and insects. Animal. Okay, yeah. Because I mean, a cow is how look, big is a cow? Look, look, I, I didn't research the fact. If you're saying that that is a raw fact that 
by eating less animals, I'm contributing less to animal slaughter and torture, and I'm not really supporting, you know, actual slavery. Actual slavery from third world country, which we get most of our, you I mean, know, like, soy. This and is stuff actual from. slavery. Yeah, well, there's actual slavery when, in third world country where they grow plants and stuff. But I'm not gonna go into that. But yeah, if you think that if I eat a lot of Australian vegetables, Australian grown stuff, and the farmers are, you know, being treated fairly, and I'm not reducing animals, then yes, I will eat more, you know, vegetable and stuff. Yeah, because when you eat meat, you're literally eating someone who was murdered and chopped up into pieces and enslaved. That's a very different, that's a black and white for me. Yes. You know, when you start going, oh, uh, Joey, you, walk, you yes. walked away here, you stepped on a few ants, mate, you know, I'm going to keep eating my steak, you're a hypocrite. <laughs> you think that makes sense? No, that really makes sense. Yeah, because that's kind of what you're doing. You're going to go, do you know how many animals are killed for your crops? Yeah, I do. If I do. I, I'm aware. Yeah. Do you know? I do know it's a lot. You know? It's a lot more if you're eating animals. Is, yeah, well, if you say so, then, you know. Because pigs are eating grain. Chickens are eating grain. Eating grain? Uh, chickens yeah, are eating yeah, chicken soy. Eating grain, yeah. <laughs> yeah, How many chickens have, uh, you know, there's billions of chickens. You know, half a billion chickens are just slaughtered here in Australia alone. Half a billion chickens, what are they eating? What are they eating, bro? Grass? Uh, worms. <laughs> no, half a billion chickens but are eating. they're mostly eating. free range, right? They peck around and stuff, no? That's ridiculous. No, no, sorry, bro, I know you don't know much about this, yeah, but. Yeah, I don't really look in the fucking tree, Yeah, bro. but it, they're mostly factory yeah. farmed. The vast majority are farmed in factories like this. Yeah. Uh, big sheds like this, yeah. and they're all fed grain, you know. And when you eat chicken, you're eating tons of grain, fair enough, fair you know. Enough. So if you just ate the grain yourself, you're mm. causing a lot less harm to the earth as well, and to the insects and shit. But then if I start eating vegan, will it really make a big impact on the? Uh, it just means you know? that you're not an animal abusing hypocrite anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because if you care about torturing and killing animals, yes. which you should. I mean, if you don't, then I I don't respect you. But if you do. If you do care about this suffering and this unnecessary holocaust, then the best thing you do is just be consistent and go, okay, what can I do? Okay, well, I can stop paying for their dead bodies to start with. I can stop consuming the eggs that come from these slaves that are killed. And I can stop stealing the milk that was meant for someone else's baby who are all slaughtered. And then, you know, you can move on from there. Stop wearing their skin. Like, just really easy black and white things. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, but then how are we going to supposed to get most of our population to do this, that's the thing as well. Well that's a practical issue and that's what I'm trying to do here yeah. while, while posting these videos and getting people to think logically about yeah. animal abuse. Um, we're working on it, yeah. but we can't work on it if you're still paying for it. You're, you're working against us, you're working against the animals. Yeah. I can somewhat agree with that, yeah. What do you, how do activists change the world? How did activists uh, abolish slavery and the civil rights movement and all these injustices that were happening, how did they change that? The world wasn't on board at the start. Yeah, I know, I but, agree with that, but... Would that, would that practical issue, would that be a reason to not even try? No, I say of course, try, you know, I support. If you actually like, you know, go do something that prevents it, like, I don't know. I do, I'm an activist, yeah. full-time activist. If you like, you know, start, start your own company that grows vegetables and stuff, you know, and make them taste like me, so at least you could, you know, allow people to, you know, yeah. I want to destroy these industries. Destroy I want to destroy them. But I don't care about anyone's jobs here. I want them to find different jobs. So I don't yeah. care about this job. So yeah, shouldn't we also, you know, as an actor, shouldn't you also like start companies that give jobs to these farmers? My job is to stop mm. people abusing animals. All right. Is it now, any, now other people yeah. can work in innovating, you know, plant food production. That's their job. My job is to stop you from abusing these animals. So pretty much all you want to do is just to make us stop, and that's all you're going to do. Yeah. And then what happens to demand? And then we can work for government yeah. change as well to implement laws that stop animal slavery. But without enough people like you on board, how are we supposed to lobby for government? No one supports us. So we want to get people to go, hey, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be an animal abusing hypocrite yeah, anymore. Yeah. I want to support these new laws to lobby against animal slavery. We've got to start here. It starts with you. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that's much we on board. Yeah. But how about, the, how about the rest of the world as well? Though? Right now we're just Australia. You that's know? a big, I know, I know, that's a big thing. But right now, you can take the knife out your hand. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, metaphorically, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But also, if we stop eating meat, what do you recommend as a substitute? Because some, some nutrients, I can, you know, I can like get some good stuff for iron, you. Iron, stuff. You know. uh, uh, you, you've got no worries with nutrients, yeah. except B12, which is supplemented in all the food system anyway, because B12 is killed. It's bacteria that is yeah. killed in the water supply now. Everything's all sanitized to the B12 bacteria is killed. So it's added as a supplement to cereals and fortified plant milks and all of that. So you don't have to worry about that. But Andy over here has got some information for you. Yeah, okay. So when this table right now you obviously agreed with the that dog lovers are hypocrites if they pay for other animals to be killed you, you, you agreed that that's hypocritical yes, that is hypocritical. but when you leave here today you can either be a vegan or an animal abusing hypocrite so which one is it 
So could you just repeat that again slowly? When yeah, you I'm when you when it. you leave here today, yes, it's either you choose to be a vegan, yes, or you choose to be a hypocrite who abuses animals, yes. So what would you choose when you leave? I will try my best to become a vegan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll try my best, but you know, yeah. yeah. You'll try to stop being an uh, animal I'll try abuser? I'll eat less meat, I guess, yeah. Oh, no uh, meat, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't advocate yeah. ever for you to eat less or to try. No, 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 I'm advocating no. for, yeah, you're being honest with me, which is yeah, good. And yeah. I'll be honest with you back. I don't want you to try, I want you yeah. to stop. <laughs> okay. And I don't want you to reduce, I want you to eliminate. Okay, yeah. And Andy's going to give you some info, <laughs> aren't you, Andy? It's nice talking to you, bro. Nice to see you, man.